people hate industrial, intensive, big agriculture, and it's really easy to see why, right? One thing that these intensive agricultural operations do really well is make a lot of food with not so much land. And that is really the most important thing that agriculture has to do over the next few decades. The challenge of if we're going to feed the world without frying the world, it's going to mean, you know, providing another seven quadrillion calories worth of worth of food over the next 30 years, which means about 50% more food, but we can't use any more land to do it. We're going to overconsume and overeat and, uh, you know, eat foods that we shouldn't eat. I have very little faith in our ability to like become a much more better for the planet species, um, just out of the goodness of our hearts. Um, but I have a lot of confidence in our ability to do cool technological stuff. Every farm is a kind of environmental crime scene, right? It's like a kind of echo of the nature that it replaced. And that makes it sound like farmers are terrible, but they're not. They're providing this incredibly valuable service. They're providing food that we need. You know, we really, we, as they often remind us, we owe them a debt. They make it possible for, for the rest of us to, uh, you know, to be doctors and bankers and podcasters and authors. The world needs more podcasters and fewer farmers, I would say. You know? <laughs>